Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be talking about the movie Dog Soldiers. And um, let me just say, this is the version you might want to get. If, if you're a special feature guy, you might want to get this one. If you want a high quality version, of course, get the um, newer releases with the Blu ray and so on. But if you haven't heard one more time, I just did a video blog about it yesterday. Dog Soldier is coming to the Screen Factory lineup next year in the summer of 2014. Um, that's pretty fast. So it's pretty obvious the Screen Factory already know what special features they are going to put on it. It just not, haven't been announced yet. But the special features on this, like I said, I re reviewed this again. Has the little scenes, gag reel, commentary with directors and cast, producers. Two commentaries, by the way, which is awesome. Um, a storyboard. Even a short movie called Combat. And which is, the short movie is really cool, too, by the way. And also, my favorite, behind the scenes. The making of Dark Soldiers. This is awesome too. You get to hear the actors' thoughts on making the movie or what they think of it. So it's really, really epic, guys. This is the UK release of it. And um, I did review this movie before. For some reason, I can't find it on YouTube. So I guess I did not save it. But at the time, it did have a clip on it. So maybe because of copyright issues, maybe that's why I took it off. But um, if I'm going to be reviewing this, this is the right time to do it now. Um, one more time, and you just saw the cover, that's the cover I actually have of the movie. Um, I don't know if I'm going to spoil the ending for you guys, because to this day, I still don't want to spoil the movie for nobody who has not seen it. I just feel like it, this movie is, is that epic to me. You know, I, I heard some reviewers recently, just now actually, say some of them saying this movie is like overrated or so on. You know what, I respect everybody's opinion, you know, that's, that's your views. But to me, this movie is still epic, I don't care what people say about it, you know, but there's a lot of love for this movie, and I'm thank thankful there's a lot of love for this movie, because if it wasn't, hey, Screen Factory would never get, get in their lineup, right, but um, it, it is, you know, it's a high cult status, very, very well loved, I believe if people have a top 10 list of a favorite werewolf movie, I believe this will be a top 10 list in, in a lot of people's list of werewolf movies, in my opinion, um, Let's, I just want to talk about it now. Let's let's talk about it. Um, Dog Soldiers, pretty about the about these military guys from from England, the British. They go off to a training exercise, you know, in Scotland. But it's more than just a training exercise. When they realize, hey, we find like what the fuck are we find? We find beast, you know. But let me mention the prequel story to this movie too. Um, the prequel story is about this guy, the hero of the movie. Um, he's like in a training exercise. And the guy, the lead of that team, who's going to be later on, like the villain of the movie later on, telling him that, you know, you fail your exercise, I want you to, because he didn't want to shoot the dog. And the guy didn't want to shoot the dog because, hey, I'm not going to shoot that dog because, you know, he, he can't defend himself. You know, pretty much like, that dog is not doing me nothing. Why should, why should I shoot that dog? And the, the evil, the leader, he's not evil, he's just like selfish, uptight, pompous asshole, pretty much. Like he said, oh, I'm going to shoot the dog, boom. Because since he didn't want to shoot it, he failed. And that's when you get to your aftermath that the hero of the movie, he's a military on another team now. And like I said, just now, they're going to a training exercise, and it's more than just a training exercise, you know. Um, like I said, I don't want to move too much because it's like the ending. Like, I feel like it has good twist towards the end when once they got into the cabin. Let's just say it's kind of like the Goldilocks and the Three Bears storyline in a way. You think about it, but I, I don't want to ruin. I, I, that's a little hint I'm going to give you. But once the soldiers get into the cabin, you know, find off the werewolves, you know, trying to survive pretty much. And um, and one thing I like about this movie is not only the horror and action elements are really good and it matches and it balances out really well. It's also the drama part of it, the thriller and the suspense of it. You can be suspenseful of what the werewolf next movie will, will be, you know. But the drama works so great, like, I love the acting, I love the story, script writing of these characters, and to me, all the characters were likable, even the villain, I even like the villain in this movie, he was likable too, you know, but there's another villain in this movie too, by the way, but I, that's the part I'm trying not to, I don't want to ruin, you know, because it'd be like, it'd be like under, under the radar, it'd be like unexpected, you know what I'm saying, people, but, um, <sighs> damn, um, I like the chemistry with the soldiers, how they, like, communicate with each other, how they work together as a team, how they get along, and I like the, the captain, the, like the like the leader of the good team, the, 
you know, who, who was training, who was helping the Halo out. Because he treated his team like family, you know, like friends. Not, not just like soldiers, he treated them like friends. And that's what I like about the good captain from the other team. He was like, awesome, you know. And I feel sorry like everyone else. Because, you know, you get likable characters that, that need to get, that need to die. Because it is a horror movie, people. Come on. Sadly to say, you know, you get likable characters that's going to die. So you, you get kind of emotionally attached to, to them, you know. It's like, ah, oh, what did this have to happen to him? Well, so on, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the werewolf action part of it, the werewolf fall part of it is great. Shooting, um, they even a fight scene with a werewolf, which you never expected in a werewolf movie. I mean, like, it, it, out of all the werewolf movies I haven't seen, I, I, I have seen, i never seen a werewolf movie when you have a guy hand to hand combat against a werewolf. Like, whoever saw that, this is like the first movie in the history of its time that personally that I ever saw that I see some warrior soldier hand to hand combat against a werewolf, man. I'm like, what the fuck? I when I first saw that scene, I was like, oh, this shit's hot, you know what I'm saying? Um, the survival part of this movie is awesome. I'm giving you a lot of key points of what, what I'm saying, what I love about this movie, guys. It's just fantastic, you know? And yeah, it is a bitch of a werewolf movie, which is on the tag title. Trust me, it, the bitch of a werewolf movie is going to pay, pay off at the end, trust me. And not only that, also at the end, it's going to pay off when the hero of the movie, at the at the at the prelogue before this, before the scene, before the movie starts rolling, it's gonna pay off when the blonde guy gonna face the evil captain one on one. Also, it's gonna pay off at the end. And I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. I doubt it, but trust me, there's more to this movie. There's another twist with this movie, by the way, before that scene. But um, it's gonna it, this movie's gonna pay off, man. I mean, maybe it does pay off. The to me, it pays off beginning to end anyway. So I was never disappointed with this movie. Um, again, when I first saw this on Sci-Fi Channel, I was just blown away. When I first saw the concept of this movie on Fangoria before this movie was ever on Sci-Fi Channel, I had doubts about it too. I had doubts about it. I was like, you know, I, Military was a werewolf, really? Will it work? I mean, it sounds interesting, but it doesn't sound like it was all that. But like I said, with the Sci-Fi Channel premiere of this movie, it sold me to watch this. And, um, I'm glad, I'm glad I saw the Sci-Fi version and then... I ended up getting my own copy of it, and finally saw that version, I got the UK release of it, which was the much better version. You know, the quality's not so great, I just rewatched it again, like I, like I said, and, um, but the special features will pay off, and hopefully, those those special features will be on the Screen Factory version next year, hopefully, uh, plus with, with brand new features, of course, you know, so we'll see what happens next year, guys, but I'm definitely going to pre-order my copy of it next year, and hopefully I get my exclusive poster of the Screen Factory version, because you know when they release a horror movie, they also have like exclusive poster art when you pre-order it. I, I can't wait for the poster art for this one. I want to see how how it's gonna look. I'm definitely gonna hang that one up in my room, man. Hopefully, I take this big giant ass mirror out and hang it right behind me. But anyway, guys, peace and see you later. And I'm sorry I didn't want to spoil the ending or anything or so on of this movie because out of all these years, I feel like this movie to me is still epic. And it's still worth not spoiling anything for you guys. But if you want to, you can go to other YouTubers' reviews that will spoil the movie for you. That's your choice and that's your own risk. But um, shout out to everyone who can still give love and support for this movie.